Hey guys, this is Diane. I'm out in my perennial gardens here and I have this Malabar spinach vine in a pot and I'm letting it dry out right now because I'm going to be collecting seeds here real soon. Uh, this is an edible vine, I should say Mediterranean. It can tolerate some awesome heat. I mean, and we've been 95 degrees and above for several, several weeks and it done really good I just I'm trying to I want to save some seeds so I will be able to share them with everyone later but this is how the blooms start out right here this is what happens when they flower isn't it beautiful it's very different and then they turn to like a little berry okay and let's find some that are drying up right there see those Let's get a close-up. These are the seeds that will produce another plant for another time. So I'll be taking some off of here and I'll probably have to get doing it pretty soon because they'll be falling off. Here's some here also that are drying up. I was eating the leaves for quite a while but now it's time. It's been through it's been through some hectic heat this year. It's fine. It probably would have did better in the ground. But I did this in the greenhouse to show people how well the vine does. And now that I can get some seeds, and I'm pretty sure they come true to seed, uh, true to the parent plant. But if not, you guys let me know. But I'm pretty sure they do. So these are really kind of a unique plant. It's edible. It produces seeds for you that you can grow the following year. I believe there's also a more on the green side one, but I like this one because of the stems. Very burgundy in color, very thick stemmed, and just look at that. Isn't that pretty? But the seeds are falling, so I'm going to have to kind of watch this now and try not to bump it too much because the seeds will be on fall on the ground and they might volunteer next year, and I really don't want them to do that. But as you can see, it's climbing up my shade structure here. I just have to show you how many seeds these produce. It's just unbelievable. Look at them. That's something else. And I'm going to let them dry on the vine as best I can, but I got a feeling they're going to be uh, falling off here pretty soon. What I might do is set some containers underneath on the ground so that the seeds can fall into. I think that'll work out pretty good. Let's get a real close look here. What they look like. It's like little berries, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to be harvesting some Malabar spinach vine seeds today. Now, we had a rain the other night that knocked a lot of these off. And I'm going to make sure I get some of them picked because we're expecting a rain again. But what you see in front of you is some dried seeds, Malabar seeds. And I'm going to pull them off today and we're going to put them in a container. I'm actually going to get several. And I'm going to let them continue to dry. I might pull this little bit of stem off and all and just set them in a container for now. But these are pretty close, pretty close. And once it rains, they happen to swell up again and they actually start, the dye starts bleeding out of them. So I don't know if that's all so good. So uh, we'll be uh, harvesting quite a few of these seeds, saving some of these seeds, and I'm going to be checking the germ on them also to see how well that they, how viable they really are. And also I might be growing a few to see if they come back true to seed. This is the red stem malabar here. And there is also some green, just the green stem I believe. I've never done the green stem and I want to see if they actually come true back to the red stand. Okay, let's get harvesting. I'm just going to take and put the bowl underneath. They're falling off. And I'm just going to take the stem and all, just like so, and placing them in and letting them dry. Okay, there's some right here. I'm just going to put my bowl, my bowl underneath and just go like so. They're just falling right off, right into the bowl. And you can do that also. They're quite pretty, aren't they? But the, some of these you see in front of you aren't ready yet to be picked. Look like little berries yet, and they're not dried down. You might see a few that are, and I'm going to be picking the ones that are today. As you can see, I'm going to have a ton of seeds. Check it out. 
from the top the top up there all the way down here to the bottom it's going to be a lot of them so you guys stay tuned next spring early spring if these guys give me a good germination I'll have some available for you I will have a seed giveaway and I will be able to share these with you because so keep watching for that there is no way I can use them all is there so just stay tuned if you guys are interested in the Malabar spinach vine kind of watch for it next spring okay look how many I have that's a lot of seeds but I have tons more on so I'll be harvesting them. I might set this in the greenhouse because we're expecting some rain. And if we get a hard rain, it's going to knock all them off. So that's something I will do. Let's get you a really good close-up here. Well, I'm going to conclude this video. And I appreciate all of you. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. This is Diane out here in the gardens on our farm. And I share with you guys anything that I can think of that might interest you. Um, I hope this is something that you've, if you've learned something today, great. Make sure you send me a comment. Toss me a comment down in the comment box. Rate this video. And I'll be bringing you more of these videos, sharing this stuff with you guys to help you learn more on gardening. Okay, I put these in my little greenhouse now. They'll be safe and sound. I had have, have the plant kind of at an angle here that when the seeds fall hopefully I will get some in the pan right there and I have to show you this this is so pretty this is how they really start right here see the pretty flowers it's really nice beautiful red stem but I am keeping this thing dry now I want it to, to be done and um, so I can collect my seeds take care and we'll see you soon